G'day Tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Stemia21 and today I'm bringing you a battle in my M46 pattern on the battlefield Ensk. The uh, M46 Pers uh, Pershing, not Pershing pattern is a very good uh, T9 medium tank. It has excellent soft stats such as uh, mo firing on the move, it's very good at that. It has a brilliant view range only beaten by its uh, child tank, the tier 10 M48 pattern. And it's overall it's just a very easy and fun tank to drive. I find um, you can do quite well with it um, if you know what you're doing and know how to play your medium tanks well. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate the how good the actual view range this thing has. So we're going to go through the wall here and just pop out a little bit. Oh, hello. The heavy tank. Just put him around to him. He probably can't even see us because our sixth sense hasn't even gone off yet. There's those uh, gnome father's gun sounds again. Oh, and look. There's the artillery. And off he goes. So that's our first kill for the game. Won't be our last though. So, I don't normally work the middle of this map. I normally go field if I'm in a medium or if I'm feeling um, confident. I'll normally go the sort of in the train tracks along this area here. Which is where we can sort of pop and peek a boom all around the place. And I believe I look at doing that in the first instance, but then I change my mind. And I decide to go down this road here. Because then I can get some flanking shots down here. And then we see a prot, which is doing nothing. I don't know if that guy was possibly AFK or a disconnected, which is probably highly likely that he disconnected. And we see an awful panther. Put around to him. Just bounce two shots. One from an, the awful panther, one from the E5 from earlier. I do love that gun sound. It's very, um, very sharp sounding in my opinion. Put another round to that prot. I'd say that prot's actually disconnected because as you can see he's a green player from the star there. So he's actually not too bad, so I'd say he's just disconnected for whatever reason he's got a bad internet connection. Shot into that AMX 1319, Put another nice shot into him. Unfortunately, we don't detrack him. The 5100 has um, just received a nice hit from our toe, so we're going to go finish him off. Since at worst, he's only going to do one damaging hit to us. Awful Panther then bounces off us again. Finish off the MX-13, uh, sorry, 5100. We aren't able to reload in time to finish off that Wolf Panther. Put another round to him. The 1390 is dead now, and so the Wolf Panther. So now we've got, that was our second kill, the uh, 5100. And we've done 3273 damage. So... Panther decides to put a nice massive hit into us, although we do survive with 38 health. And rather than sit in front of his gun, we're gonna go around him and tell him what we really think. So we've done a little bit of damage, but we're still not done. We have tier 10s to hunt. So we put, another, we put a round into that. 183. I do like shooting 183s because they uh, they've they've known to kill me a number of times. So put around the target too. 
Okay, that's 4,000 damage. Should we uh, ricochet the Tiger 2? I don't actually remember taking that hit from the Yag... Uh, Yag Panther E100. Uh, so it's probably a good thing that... that bounced off, otherwise that would have been a very short game. And all's left is the, um... IS-7. Now we've set it so we can load an APCR round next. Will we get another shot in? No, we won't. So that's the end of the game. And that was really good. We got 5,170 damage. Let's go and check the post-game stats. As you can see, that was our mastery badge in the M46. We got the ribbons fire for effect, which was do more damage than we have hit points. Jewels, which is damage to vehicles that damaged us. And bruise, which was destroy modules, which is nice. Um, see the confederate medal for doing... What, what does that entail again? It's hit more enemy vehicles than any other player on your team, at least six which are subsequently destroyed by another player. If two or more players have an equal amount of hits, the achievement is granted to the player who earned more XP for the battle, including additional XP provided to premium accounts. Okay, yep, yeah, fair enough. And we also got Spartan for ricocheting that Tiger 2. So, so what did we hit? We hit the IS-7, the AMX-5100, the Yankpanzer E-100, who also did a thousand damage to us. We were very lucky to survive that, I think. And I think he may have just rolled slightly low. Um, the five we got two hits into him for... Oh, when he hit, when he did, um... So what we did to him? We did some spawning damage, I guess. GW Tiger, we killed him. Yeah, so we hit a fair few tanks there. Now, we got 80,000 um, credits from this game. We got 2,000... 101 XP, and that wasn't a double, that was just on its own, so with no extras. Um, I wasn't running a premium care at the time, I don't know if I am at the moment any further, but we'll see. Team score, STB1 beat us just by one hit, um, although we beat everyone on XP, with 1400 base XP, if it was just not premium. And we'll and he, what, what's, he got the high caliber medal, which was uh, very deserving. So, so we fired 22 shots, of which 20 hit. This is actually a very accurate gun, and it's actually very easy to hit your targets, even when on the move, just due to the soft stats of, of the gun. Um, 14 penetrations, it's not got the best penetration, it's only 120, no, sorry, 224, so it's not the best, um, it does, it's APCR shot is actually really good as well, so if you're finding you're having lots of trouble hitting and penetrating, use your APCR, we've received 8 hits, 4 of them bounced, 4 of them penetrated, damage blocked by armor, only 455, it's not, this, this tank really doesn't have the ability to survive a lot of shots, it's just, its armor's pretty average. Um, and we also did 1878 spawning damage, so combined with the damage we did, well, that was obviously very good for our um, mastery badge. And we travel 1.22 kilometers, which is always nice. So, yeah, pretty much what we said there was in the last screen. Um, really the only thing there is we made a profit of 36,000 because um, the ammo is pretty expensive in this, it's a thousand bucks a shot and uh, I think it's about four thousand per shot with the APCR which we fired two I believe. Well that's all for that game, um, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I have a couple more episodes that I'm gonna do, you probably won't see this for a while but as but because you'll be watching this you'll probably um, won't understand that because I haven't put uploaded anything for a while. Um, and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.